Welcome students to class 4 revision. Today we will do the second revision on measurements. In the first revision I had covered questions related to conversion and the four basic operations. In today's test I will be sharing word problems with you. Question 1. A container can hold 50 kg rice. It has only 20 kgs 500 grams rice. How much more can be put into it? In this question, they have told there is a container which has a capacity of 50 kgs. Out of that, they have already put 20 kgs 500 grams rice in it. Now, how much more rice can you put? Students, I would recommend when you are faced with word problems, try and put simpler numbers into the same question and figure out what operation you have to do. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Like in this, if I take there is a container which has capacity of 10 kgs and out of 10, already 2 kgs rice is put into it. To find out how much more I can put, I will subtract this number 2 from 10. Basically, this becomes a subtraction question. I will not be giving you hints for the others, but I will explain the questions to you which might help you understand it better. Question 2. Lunch board. 315 meters, 15 centimeters of cloth of one kind and 123 meters, 8 centimeters cloth of another kind. How much total cloth did he buy? In this question, Laksh is buying two kinds of cloth. Measure of each is given and we have to find what is the total length of the cloth bought by him. Question 3. Dash bought 20 liters, 500 milliliters petrol for his car. He used 12 liters, 250 milliliters. How much petrol is left? Here in this question, Dash has bought 20 liters, 500 milliliters of petrol. And out of that, he has used 12 liters, 250 milliliters. Now we have to find out how much petrol is still left with Dash. Question 4. A shopkeeper has 500 meter cloth. He sold 124 meters 30 centimeters how much cloth is left here the total amount of cloth with the shopkeeper is given to us and out of which he has sold some portion now we have to find out how much is still left with him question 5 a charitable trust divides 702 kgs of ration amongst nine families how much ration did each family get? Here there is some ration which is divided into nine families. Divided means every family gets a portion of 702. We have to find how much did each family get. Question 6. Rohan travels 140 kilometers, 175 meters in seven days. How much distance does he travel in one day? So here the total distance Rohan is traveling in seven days is given to us. We have to find out how much is he traveling in one day. Question 7. A milk vendor sold 20 liters 300 milliliters milk on Monday and thrice of that on Tuesday. How much milk did he sell in two days? So here they have told on Monday he says selling a certain amount. On Tuesday he's selling three times of that amount. And then the question is asking you, how much milk did he sell in two days? So whatever answer you get by finding out the amount for three days, to that you will add the Monday's quantity also. And then you will give the final answer. Question 8. Prince runs 1 kilometer 100 meters every day. How much distance will he cover in the month of April? So in this question, Prince is running a particular distance every day. Now you have to tell in the month of April how much distance will he cover. So you have to actually find out the number of days in April and that number you will multiply by the distance run by Prince in one day. Question 9. If the cost of 1 litre of Pepsi is Rs 132, find the cost of 200 millilitres of Pepsi. Here I'll give you a hint, 1 litre is equal to 1000 millilitres. So first convert this 1 liter into 1000 milliliters and then see it is sold for rupees 132. You have to then find the cost of 200 milliliters of Pepsi. Question 10. Total length of 8 playgrounds is 49 kilometers 704 meters. Find the length of 1 playground. So total length of 
8 playgrounds is given and you have to find the length of one playground. Now students, this is the last question. I have not shared the answers at the end of this video. I would request you to solve these questions and write the answers in the comment section along with your name. And students, be careful to write the units properly with your answers. I will select one student with all correct answers and pin his comment.